All right, what is good, fish and family? It is about, I kid you not, 90 degrees today. It is hot, and I'm dying in the heat, but if you haven't seen my last video, or at least my last, like, video that was over a minute long, I caught a big pickerel in a pretty small pond that's absolutely littered with thick cover and lily pads. But today we're actually going to cook the pickerel. We got two big fillets and we got to debone it. We might not debone it. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do, but we're going to cook it. And you guys are going to tag along with me. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, though, remember to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the content. And I will see you when we start cooking it. All right, guys. Because I am outdoor jack, I completely forgot to film cooking it. But this is what it looks like when it's done. This is chain pickerel. Season. I, I will. I can't remember exactly what I put on it. I'll just. I'll put words right here on what I put on it and what I use. But that is what it looks like. It looks super good. Let's get some nice shots of it. Alrighty guys, I got the shots. Now we're gonna taste it. I already tasted it. Let me just give you a spoiler alert. It's amazing. But um, yeah, it's got bones in it, which when you eat a pickerel, be careful. Just kinda if you're a little kid, you might not be able to tell what a bone is, but that's what it looks like on a decent sized pickerel. Don't know if you can see that or not, but just flick it away and just take like a small bite at a time. And um, it's amazing, dude. It tastes, it's a sweet meat for some reason. I don't know if I'll pick roll like that. This, um, this could probably go to bat against bass. Like, I'm not even kidding. And I know there's going to be comments like, you eat bass? Oh my goodness, you were so wrong. You were literally the worst person ever. Listen, I don't fish tournaments. I'm not a pro bass angler. Who cares if I eat a 12 inch I catch? I, this isn't a bass. I have eaten really big bass before, which I deeply regret. But I'd say any fish under two and a half, two pounds, that's a good eater. Like, nothing over two and a half pounds, I'd say, is really great for eating. But this is pickerel, so it doesn't really matter. But it's great. You can barely tell it's fish. Not sponsored by Dr. Pepper or anything, but... That's some seriously good soda right there. Interesting fact about Dr. Pepper. <coughs> <coughs> um, it is made from the blend of 23 different flavors. Not 22, not 24, 23 different flavors. That's crazy. It was established in... Whoa! 1885. So that was like, I think it's like 200 years ago or something like that. Comment down below what other type of fish I should taste because I'm sure you guys maybe want to see some fish taste testing. I don't know. Maybe I should be a taste tester channel or something. Although I don't like a lot of flavors, so, you know, might, might not exactly be my niche. And you guys are probably wondering why I haven't posted on Mondays and Fridays in a while. It's because I, I don't have anything to post. And I feel pressured to post on that day. So I just decided to, well not that pressure, but pressure enough. I just decided to post when I have something interesting. If that makes sense. Um, because I'm not going to, because my, I mean, c comment down below. Do you want to see more fishing kit videos? Because I don't know if anybody was enjoying that. I enjoy making them, but I don't know if anybody enjoyed it. Um, I get comments all the time saying, just do what you love to do. And the content, the followers, the views will come. I don't know if that's necessarily true, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, what you love might just happen to be something that gets a lot of views, if you know what I mean. 
So if you love doing budget challenge videos, of course that's gonna get um views. I I'm trying to keep my videos under ten minutes now. Sometimes even under five if I can. Um but yeah, I'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching. Give me some elbow guys. And uh share this video out with your friends or share this uh channel out with your friends if they like this kind of stuff too. See you in the next one.